don't appreciate being called in here at such short notice. It'll be worth the inconvenience. I think I'll be the judge of that. You needed a manager for this place. I got you one. I can find my own. I'm saving you the trouble. It takes a very special kind of man to run a club like this. Yeah, I know. Guy's got to understand when to be tough, when to ease off, and he's got to have business sense. Yeah, that's right. He also must earn the respect of the employees. And above all, he must be charming. Otherwise, people won't be encouraged to come back. Duke, this guy's got it all. He's had a lot of years working clubs. Yeah, I'm sure a lot more besides. Do I have to remind you that this place is just the front? That the family's business always comes first? I know exactly how it works. Good. Now I'm going to introduce you to your new manager. Phil, bring Rodolfo in here. Yes, sir. To stack up the totals, vitamin nutrition... This is Rodolfo Malatesta. Meet your new boss, Duke Lavery. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Lavery. I've heard a lot about you. Thank you. So you want to run my club for me, do you? Yes, sir. There's nothing I'd like more. Victor tells me you have excellent credentials. <laughs> I appreciate that. I have helped make other clubs popular and profitable. I promise to do the same for you. You can believe him when he says that. Good. I've checked everything out, and this place is just about perfect. I don't see any problems. Well, if you find any, you will get in touch with you. Certainly. Is there anything else you want me to know? No, just do the best you can, and everything will work out fine. I will. I'll discuss hours and things with you later. That's all for now. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Jerome? Well, what do you think? Does it matter? Where are you going? I'm going to catch the next shuttle home. Hold on. We've got family business to discuss. That's not why I came here. You're here now, so we'll talk now. I promised my wife I'd be home early. I'm going to keep my word. Okay, Duke. This once. From now on, when I want to talk family business, you don't go anywhere. That's open for discussion, Victor. The family's business comes first. You can't run this job from Port Charles. Not if you want to honor Julian's wishes. I will honor his wishes. Then you better think hard about spending more time here. We'll talk about that. Yeah, soon. What do you think of her? She seems like a nice girl, and she's very pretty. Yeah, she is. Do you like her? Do you? Yeah. And? I don't know. It's just that I feel kind of funny when I'm around her. And when I think about her. You've never felt this way before, have you? Uh-uh. You know, AJ, I felt just the same way when I was a young girl. <laughs> All of a sudden, I liked boys, and, well, it made me feel kind of uh, warm all over and, and nervous. And I didn't know what to do about it. You didn't? No, dear, I didn't. See, girls are the same as boys. They are? Yes, dear, they are. Grandma, what's wrong with me? Oh, nothing, darling. Nothing at all. You're just growing up. <laughs> what you feel is very natural. We all feel it when we're growing up. But does it ever go away? Or does it just get worse when we get older? <laughs> well, we do feel it when we get older. Particularly when we meet someone we like. But it, it, it doesn't get worse, dear. It gets better. Better all the time. The feeling's just more intense and confusing at your age because you've never experienced it before. 
I feel all mixed up. Oh, of course you do, dear. But just try to be yourself when you're with her. Enjoy yourself and enjoy her. And try not to be too self-conscious. It's hard. I know it is, dear. But it's a wonderful feeling. You want to be with her all the time. You want to hold her hand and touch her. You want to talk about everything, but the words just won't come right. But they will. It's all part of growing up. And you will be fine. Could... Could Melissa... Well, could she be feeling the same way I do? Well... Well, she might. But because she's older than you, she probably had these feelings a while back and about somebody she met then. And now she's feeling just like you are feeling about her. You'll find out. Give it time, dear, and be her friend and let her get to know you. And remember, dear, everybody in the world goes through what you're going through. And as time goes on and you get a little older, it becomes more beautiful and, and it grows into a, into a new kind of love. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> oh, you're a lovely boy. And you're going to be a wonderful man. I feel bad for Felicia. Yeah, she's being uh, pretty brave right now. And I hope Prisco's all right. It's been a long time. I'll uh, get it. Okay. Hello. Bobby, it's Patrick. Listen, I just called Terry's apartment and there wasn't anybody there. By any chance, is she around there? Uh, yes, she is, Patrick. Hold on a minute. Patrick. For you. Thank you. Hello? Hi. How are you? Fine. Fine? Listen, would you like to get a bite to eat later? Um, uh, well, I'd love to, but uh, I have to go over to the TV studio to rehearse for Colton's show. Oh. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, I understand. Uh, no big deal. Uh, talk to you later. Bye. Great. What's the matter? Well, I think Patrick's trying to pick up where we left off. I don't think it's right. I mean, he's heavily involved with Amy right now. Well, if Patrick hasn't gotten over you, it's really not your problem. It's Amy's. I know. But still, I'm not ready for a relationship, and I don't want to lead him on. I don't blame you. I want something to drink. You want something? Sure. Um, I'll get it. Don't... Hello, Terry. I'm Hello. so sorry to bother you, um, but I was looking for Scott, and I tried his office, but no Scott. Um, Scotty's not here, and I don't know when he'll be back. Well, would you mind it if I, if I waited? I have something to discuss with him. It deals with hospital business. Hmm. Okay, um, why don't you wait downstairs? Great. That'd be fine. Be better than sitting up here. I said goodbye to high calories because General Hospital will continue in a moment. It's a Olivia, we've been over this time and time Dude. again. I don't have time to discuss it. Come on, Duke. You've got to admit you're having a problem with my father. I don't think so. Think again. You're going to honor Julian's last wish. Yes, I am. You cannot be successful in making this family legitimate if you don't spend more time in New York. I can do it. Not if you're going to yo-yo between here and Port Charles. I said I can do it. You've got a lot of people to see. It's going to take time to convince them. I know that. You can't be in two places at once. But I have the solution for you. What would that be? Me. Let me help you. I told you before, I'm not going to go against your father's wishes. Don't worry about him. I'll take care of him. I just need your help. What kind of help? You have to tell my father that you want me to work with you. Olivia, 
You've told me time and time again that Julian wanted your help. You know, I never once heard Julian say that. I've only heard you say it. It's the truth. I swear it on my brother's memory. You don't know how it was between us, between Julian and me. I'm sure you're going to tell me. Yes, I am. We were very close when we were growing up, a lot closer than Father realized. We thought alike. Even though we weren't involved, we knew about the drugs, about the killings. We hated it. Okay, I love you. Let thing. me finish. We lost family members and friends, and it was awful. I know that. Julian wanted to make the family legitimate. We both did. It was our dream and our plan and our promise to each other that we would work together as partners to change things. As partners, huh? Yes. We knew Father wouldn't approve of what we wanted. But we swore we'd try. We confided. We planned. And we dreamed. And because Julian was the boy, he had to take the lead. That's the way it is. That's the way it was. Up until the time that Julian was killed. It was almost as though he had a premonition. What do you mean? The, a week before he died, a day before I went to Paris, we had dinner. He made me promise that I would... that I would help him and carry on for him by helping you. Please let me help you. I feel good today. You always feel good when things are going your way. Well, it's the only way to go. You shouldn't have bullied Amanda. Well, she's being wishy-washy, and I can't stand that. I know that. I'll tell you what, I'm convinced we made the right move. Oh, I'm sure we did. It was Monica and Tony. Oh. And uh, can we join you? Oh, sure. Hello. Imagine this, Monica, you having a rest. Yes, well, it's over. You should rest a little bit, my darling. You need it. I can't. You know what? This job of yours is turning into a man killer. Ah, well, you see, I'm a woman. Oh, I noticed that. Look, put the needles away, will you, please? Anything you say, my love. Uh, Anything. Look, I'll see you later, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Nice going, Al. Thank you. How's it going, Tony? Mm -hmm. Fine. Doing a hell of a job, my Thank boy. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. Alan. Yes, could you give me an update on Cheryl Stansberry? She's a very sick young lady. Is she going to make it? Her condition is very serious. Kidney failure. Not yet, but it's uh, mm -hmm. just a matter of time. She's so young. I know, it really is a shame. You know, worrying about it isn't going to change things. Uh, Tony, I understand that your wife is interested in becoming a, a, a board member. Uh, is that correct? Yes, it is. Uh, well, how do you feel about it? Well, it's between her and the board. Mm -hmm. And you? Well, it's her life and her decision. It's fine with me, whatever she wants, as long as she doesn't involve me in it. What is it with women nowadays? What do you mean? Well, they push, push, push. They want everything that we've got. Well, is that wrong? Well, you know, they belong in the home. I mean, if you, if you don't want a miserable life, you've got to keep a tight leash on them. You mean the way you keep one on Mother? Keep Mother out of this. Well, I think every woman has a right to fulfill her full potential. No, that's just not a highfalutin way of saying they can have whatever they want. What's wrong with that? <laughs> well, if you don't know, my boy, I pity you. You'll have to excuse him. My father's a bit of a male chauvinist. You can call me what you want, but a man is a man and a woman is a woman. And that is that. <laughs>